Hey guys, welcome back to another Bill's uh, beer review. Um, for this uh, review this time, I have my brother John with me. If anybody's watching the uh, video and has been following my channel, you will know him as the cameraman in my All Grain Brew Day. And he's been instrumental in helping me build the Drunken Bastard Bar and Brewery down in my garage. And, well, we just figured we'd do a, a, a quick review for you. Uh, mostly the reasons he, he is here is I've only been drinking beer for about two years. Um, you've been drinking beer for about 20 years now. 20 years? You're only 36. <laughs> 16! <laughs> Alright, um, so anyway, uh, show him off the uh, the beer we're going to try tonight. Well, what we're going to have right now is a, a Weyerbacher, it's an old Heather a Imperial Stout. And it's, uh, we're going to see what it tastes like. Uh, Weyerbrock Bacher is a, uh, it's a family-owned brewery in eastern Pennsylvania, which is one of our oldest cities. It's only about 40, 45,000 people. I mean, there's only probably 100 guys working at this brewery, so it's made nice small batches. Uh, we're going to see what it tastes like, all right? So we're going to open this up. We open that up, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour it into a glass. See that? See that? Now that's a that's a that's a good beer there. I'm new at this, I don't make videos, but that looks like a nice beer. Now, I smell, I smell hops, and to be tell you the truth, the other smell I smell, I smell molasses, and uh, Almost like a forest at night. That's what I smell. Alright. Uh, to me that's very important to relate your your flavors with smells. That's what it reminds me of. Now we're gonna have a taste. Now, exactly as I was right, I taste 90% molasses. I taste, uh, it's almost a little sense of citrus and mirror mixed in with it. Uh, this is definitely a palate of winter, all right? This is something you would drink when it's 20 or 30 degrees outside with the wind howling and the snow coming down sitting by a fireplace would make it a most enjoyable drink. Uh, other than that, I mean, it tastes, it's a little bitter, but it's mellow rich. But this is definitely the taste of winter. This is what you want when it's cold and you're tired and you have nothing to do. Nice taste of winter. It's right here. It's beautiful, man. It's crafted. <clears throat> All right. Now I'm going to give this a go quick. Now, like you said, I can smell the molasses. I smell the citrus a little bit. Yeah, it's, uh, that's the hops. Don't really know what kind of hops they use, but it does have a slight citrusy uh, odor to it. Nice uh, lacing, All right? A kind of a mocha coffee color foam head on top. Mm. <clears throat> right away, I can taste chocolate. I can taste coffee. It's 
really got like a a thick creamy mouthfeel. Um, so actually, for a a beer like that, well, like I've said, I've never had a stout before, but. I mean, that's a really good beer, but I don't think it's one of those sessionable beers. Um, you're not going to drink six of these things after dinner. No, Bill, this is a, uh, a winter snowstorm beer. <clears throat> well, when you, you know, it's going to make you feel nice and comfy. But it's got aromas of fall. Definitely a heavy tasting beer. Um, molasses, chocolate, coffee. Um, not too much on the hop profile, but yeah, it's a great beer, guys. So, this beer again is Weyerbacher's Old Heather Imperial Stout. And we're going to wrap up this video by saying, I hope your week this far has been good. I hope the rest of your week is even better, guys. Take care of yourselves. Cheers. 17.